All right, folks, welcome back here to the Mad Den. Let's check out the audibles for offense for our Carolina guide. Brought to you by MaddenBible.com. So our first audible again is the counter week. It's, that's what it looks like right here. It's in the I formation, twin tight end. Uh, then we have the halfback sweep, same formation. Uh, next is our man on bumpable beater. It's a stick out of single back trips bunch. Then our shotgun split slot Panthers cross with our double blue routes. Uh, and then our also another complementing play with the same on the motion uh, but with different reads after the snap. Uh, so that's what we're going to show you. And there's also one key thing we want to show you. We're always going to come out in these shotgun tight slots formation. I mean single back, I'm sorry. Single back tight slots. A um, couple of uh, housekeeping rules what we want to do here is we want our two fastest guys on the inside. So we have Armani Edwards and then we have Steve Smith. The other two spots, uh, really it's whatever you have left and available on your depth chart. Uh, so the play we want to come out in is either halfback wheel or drag cross-ups. recommend coming out and drag cross-ups probably 90% you know, of the time and then mix in halfback wheel uh, just because halfback wheel doesn't have the same uh, consistent easy reads one after the other as drag cross-ups. It's also got a home run hitter, it's something that we want to look at. Uh, drag cross-ups is our play. On defense, we're going to pick a normal, standard 46 normal cover three. Uh, so off, off bat, uh, you can run this play without any adjustments, uh, and you can see we can hit both both flats pretty consistently as well over the middle. We have a nice mesh over the middle, so if uh, they are in man defense, we should be able to beat that. Our halfback out of the backfield, again, has a great route that we want to take advantage of. So there we are. We picked up a couple uh, yards there. Uh, we run it again. We can go to the opposite side and incomplete the pass. And then if we want to get cute here, we can put streaks in the slots, try and take advantage of the cover three, go up field, make a bad read. Now another thing too is if they take the guys out of the box and there's not too many defenders in the box, we want to run the halfback dive. Uh, so we can try and get some advantage in the running game here and pick up a few yards, get a broken tackle, and bust it upfield. Again, here's the play. A lot of different reads. That's what we were trying for. Great play by Z Farls on the sticks on the defensive side. Now when we go to our run formation, halfback counter weak. It's very simple. If we see our favor on the weak side, uh, we're going to want to run the ball to our counter weak. As so, pick up a couple yards. Uh, and if they start keying in on the halfback counter weak, uh, and we notice we might have up the middle, our numbers up the middle, we can audible to our up the middle run and try and pick up a few yards there. So now we have a run left, a run up the middle, and our last play here out of this formation is the halfback sweep, which is our run to the right. Very effective play, very effective type of way to run the ball. We need to attack all gaps, and that's what we're trying to do when we run the ball. Now, we like to show you what would happen if we do face man to man with a bump and run. Call man to man, bump and run, man to man, bump and run. We motion our stick route out just as he gets set. And he makes a terrible throw. But what we want to show you is an instant replay. What happens if they call man to man with a bump and run? He can't get there. He makes a good throw. So he's easy 10 yards. I'll show you one more time. That's the throw we were looking for. As you can see, it was completed over the middle, or over on the weak side. Other plays are the Panther cross. What we like to do here is our left receiver put him on a slant, put our right slot receiver our X, put him on a streak deep, and let our map route, auto motion route, go over the middle. We have two releasing routes out of the backfield, so we can hit the route over the middle if we want for some big yards. If we had a height over on our left side receiver, we can rock catch the slant. Uh, we can also send a deep receiver if they are trying to bring pressure. We can hit our releasing routes over the, over on the sides. As you can see, pick up some nice yak on the reception there. And to really get, get in their heads here, what we can do this time, same auto motion, same formation, but this time we have different reads that we can hit. 
which is very nice. I love the mesh to that receiver on that wheel route. As you can see, it has big play potential written all over it, especially with some bad tackling. Show you that one more time, the reads we can hit. Got to love that motion over the middle. Can't really play man-to-man -man with it. Gets over the middle really quick to drop the ball. So there you have it. Uh, that was show number 18. We brought to you the full Carolina Panthers scheme. Uh, for more information on this scheme and, and more breakdowns for it, head on over to MaddenBible.com. Uh, or you can message us on Twitter. I'm at askgib 7 Farles is at MaddenBible. Uh, feel free to hit us up on AIM. Uh, MaddenBible is our screen name. You can also get us at our email, which is MaddenBible at gmail.com. Feel free to get on our forums. We're on the forums as well. Uh, you can head there and uh, sign up and, and post any questions that you have, guys. Uh, for another exciting show, Farles, do you want to take this one away? Yes, folks. You need to come and join us this Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m., Right before the NFL kickoff, we're going to have This Week in Madden, season number two, show number one, coming at you with lightning rounds, mailbag questions, depth chart breakdowns, call-in questions, Chris Gamble making big plays. It's all going to be there for you guys, so you need to join us. It's a show about you, for you, by us. MaddenBible.com. For Z Files, I am S. Gibbs. This is show number 18. It's the laser show, not in your den. It's not in my den, but it is the Mad Den. We'll see you tomorrow, show number 19.